Today we are making sweet and sticky cinnamon buns with an aromatic buttery filling. These buns are not only delicious, they are twisted into beautiful small knots that will guarantee to be a hit with your friends and family. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Tiffany and this is my vegan Aloha Kitchen. This recipe is a part of my holidays, parties, and potluck series here on YouTube. I have a ton of great recipes on the channel, so make sure you check that out at the end of the video. And let's get started. I'm going to start by making a super simple dough by combining three tablespoons of warm vegan butter, one cup of warm unsweetened almond milk, one tablespoon of sugar, and one packet of instant yeast. Follow the instructions on your packet of yeast and make sure that your vegan milk and butter is heated but not too hot as that will damage the yeast. Both should be kept lukewarm. Next, add a pinch of salt and three cups of flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour, but any flour will do. If you would like the brand I'm using, it works well as a one-on-one -on -one gluten-free alternative, and I'll put the link to my Amazon store in the comment and description box below. Mix until you have a relatively sticky dough. The dough will be quite wet, but will soften as you need. Lightly dust a surface with flour. Knead for about 10 minutes until you have a smooth dough. Form into a ball and move into a clean floured bowl. Cover and leave to proof for around 45 minutes. The dough should double in size. Next, lightly flour work surface and roll the dough into a 30 by 40 centimeter rectangle. To make the filling, Beat together three tablespoons of room temperature vegan butter, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract or one vanilla bean, and one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. It should form into a thick aromatic paste. We want to work quickly here. I found that the butter starts to melt quickly with the humidity in Hawaii and we'll do the same in a heated house. So whip this together and then spread the filling evenly over the top of the dough. Don't go overboard with the filling, just spread a thin even layer. Next fold the dough into thirds to enclose the filling. Then slice into 12 strips, each roughly about three and a half centimeters long. Next, use a sharp knife to cut two slips down the length of each strip, making three strands. Braid together the strands, then take each plate and roll it up along the length to create a knot. Repeat the process with the rest of the knots. Grease a muffin tin and place the knots into the tray. Then cover and allow to proof for another hour. When ready, preheat the oven to 370 degrees, then brush the knots with some warm vegan butter and bake for 15 to 20 minutes until golden. Once baked, allow to cool for only a few minutes, then remove from the muffin tin into a cooling rack, or more likely straight onto a plate to serve. These smell amazing and taste great as is, but to sweeten the deal, I'm going to dust on a little powdered sugar. You can also make a quick icing to add by mixing together one cup of softened vegan butter, 
a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three and a half cups of powdered sugar to a bowl and blending until smooth. Drizzle over the glaze or simply dip in each bun. If you don't eat the whole batch in one go, transfer to an airtight container and, and store at room temperature, but I bet they won't last that long. Thank you for watching. If you want the full written recipe, you can find that in the description and comment box below. If you'd like, you can also sign up for my weekly newsletter where I'll send delicious recipes directly to your inbox. Happy holidays, everyone. Mahalo for watching, and I'll see you in the kitchen.